Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full length featured review, we'll be covering one of MSI's new high-end gaming laptops, the Titan GT77HX. The GT77 focuses more on extreme power rather than extreme portability, as it is a full-size 17-inch laptop. It would be suitable either for a desktop replacement and it can be used either for gaming purposes or those who demand a very powerful machine for productivity work. Throughout the length of this review, we'll go over all the features, all the performance benchmarks, all the statistics, and give you a good look at the laptop. But first, we'll start things off with our unboxing. So as you can see, the way this would get shipped to you is in a double box technique. The outside box helps prevent too much attention from being drawn, and it gives it some extra protection during shipping. Our MSI box inside has our laptop right here, front and center, one protective sleeve over the top of that so it doesn't get scratched up. And in our next compartment, just underneath of the laptop, this is where we're gonna find the power supply. And here's one quick close-up view of the power supply so we can see the power requirements. The included power adapter is just shy of 330 watts of total output power. And for the connection side, you can see it's using a rectangular power connection. Next, as we dig a little bit deeper into the box, we have a small package in here. And within that package, we just have a user quick guide. Next up, as we go a little bit further, we have another compartment and we have a few little neat extras that are included with the laptop. We get the MSI Dragon keychain and we get a pretty good sized thumb drive that has both the traditional USB and the Type-C USB connections. As for the very last item in the box, in the final compartment, we're gonna find a included gaming mouse this is a pretty serious laptop, so of course for any serious gaming or productivity work, having a mouse is a very nice to have. So there is one included with the laptop. And with all the compartments open, that's everything that's included in the box. And we can move on to the next segment of our review. Okay, we've got the laptop now powered up and it's time to take a first look. You can see the overall design of the chassis is just the same as the older MSI GT77. So it's pretty much the same, but we have many updates as far as the hardware. Here's our first look at the included hardware based on our stickers. A single very large oversized touchpad with integrated left and right clicks and the rest of our advertisement stickers. The keyboard is always a very important part of a laptop. And here we have a very nice one, Cherry MX mechanical keyboard switches on each key. Also each key has individual RGB backlighting that you can control in the software. You'll see flanking the left and right sides of the keyboard, we have large openings for the built-in speakers. The large 17 inch screen, which we'll get into more details on later, and up above the screen, we have our built-in webcam and microphones. We do have a mechanical privacy switch here, so we can cover the camera up. And the camera is Windows Hello compliant if you would like to try to use those new features. So now let's go take a closer look at our interfaces for connectivity. Over on the right-hand side, we have one traditional USB Type-A port followed by two USB Type-C ports, a mini display port, a full-size HDMI output, and our RJ45 connection for local network connectivity. Moving around to the rear of the laptop, we don't have any connectivity here, not even the power connection. This is gonna be strictly used for all the cooling that the system needs. So this is gonna be our, our major exhaust area. 
And finally over to the last side, we have where the power connection is for charging the laptop, two USB-A ports, a SD card reader, and our combo headphone microphone jack. With all of that covered, here is one last tour of the laptop on the outside. And then we'll go ahead and proceed the review a little bit further and we'll start taking a look at the inside of the laptop. Let's start our inside tour here in the device manager so we can see all of the new hardware. We have the Windows Hello webcam, the NVIDIA RTX 4080 for the GPU, killer for both wired and wireless network connectivity, the new 13th generation Core i9-13980HX for the CPU. Here's our monitor information. This is a high-end laptop panel that supports a full 4K resolution with a 144 hertz refresh rate full HDR support with a 1000 nit brightness, and it also has a 100% coverage for the DCI-P3 color spectrum. Now let's go take a detailed look at our CPU and GPU information. So first up, the CPU information. You can see the system comes pre-installed with 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Over to the GPU side, we do have the integrated Intel graphics, which is there when you need to use less power, when you need extended battery operation. And then of course we have the full blown dedicated RTX 4080. And here's all the specs on that. Let's also take a quick look at the MSI Center. This is an important piece of software that you're gonna to wanna to be familiar with. You get your system dashboard so you can see all of your current running temperatures, fan speeds, and etc. It's also very important for setting your performance mode if you wanna save battery or if you wanna go gaming. If you ever had an issue where the integrated graphics and the discrete graphics didn't properly switch, you can come in here and manually configure those and manually override those. We have built-in overclocking for the GPU, and we also have manual fan speed control. Now we're about to move into the benchmarking section so we can see just how powerful the new hardware is in this laptop. Before we do that, let's take a baseline reading of our external temperatures using our infrared camera. We'll come back and visit this once we start the benchmarks and see just how much the heat has gone up. Upon first inspection, we can see nothing's too hot where your hands would be touching. And we get a good indication of where the hot spots are and where the cooling is working. The higher the numbers that we see in the exhaust, that means the more of the heat that's being removed from the system. So that's always actually a good thing to see the highest numbers possible. We're just now starting Firestrike, our very first performance benchmark. While Firestrike is underway, we're going to take our sound meter and get a reading on the fans for the exhaust. These are worst case scenario numbers, having a microphone right next to the exhaust. These are just arbitrary numbers, so the only way to really use these is to watch other reviews of similar laptops that we've covered, and you can compare the readings. So now while the benchmark is running, we'll go back to the thermal camera again and we'll see how things have changed. You can see there was a small increase in temperatures on the outside case here, but not much. It's still well within the realm of being comfortable to use. None of the heat is really getting in the areas where we're going to have our hands sitting. The hot spots for the cooling system have gone up significantly and we can actually see the heat streaks across the table surface. And we can now check in with our first fire strike score of 26,023 points. 
So very, very, very good for our laptop score. We're gonna go take a look at our temperature readings that happened, our maximums during that test. We can see that the CPU stayed incredibly cool. SSD temperature stayed great, and then down to the GPU. 88 degrees Celsius was the maximum temperature there, which is an incredibly cool GPU for such a high-end GPU in a laptop. In addition to Firestrike with such high-end hardware, we can also run Firestrike Extreme, and we were able to get almost 15,000 points with this current system benchmark. Continuing on with our benchmarks, Port Royale scored 7,526 points. And we also benchmarked Time Spy, and we got 12,533 points. For those curious about Time Spy Extreme, 5,966 points we were able to get on that benchmark. And for a final benchmark, we'll go ahead and run Cinebench R23, and that one's short enough that we'll film that one in real time. Our multi-core score was just shy of 30,000 points and a single core score over 2,100 points. For the next benchmark, we're gonna be showcasing the built-in sound system, so we'll demo that next. Moving into our final segment of our review, we'll go ahead and disassemble the GT77HX so that you don't have to, to find out what's inside. So here is the array of screws that you'll have to remove to get the bottom plate off. They are of the same length, so it makes it a little bit easier to not lose track of which one goes where and the entire bottom panel comes off as one piece. First impressions of the system, the most obvious thing is the giant battery at the bottom. 99.99 .99 watt hours is the maximum size battery that's allowed in a laptop. We do have a left and a right subwoofer, so we got plenty of sound coming from this machine. Up above, we'll see the entire cooling array, not two, not three, but a four fan cooling array with lots of heat pipes. This massive cooling system is the reason why we saw such low temperatures during all of our benchmarks. Our single SSD that's installed is over here to the right.
And then of course, over to the left, we have a few unoccupied SSD slots. So you can add additional storage. This is gonna be our wireless network connectivity. And underneath we have our system RAM. So it came loaded with 64 gigabytes, but it can be upgraded all the way up to 128 gigabytes. So again, as we can see from our benchmarks and the included hardware, this is quite capable for gaming, but also those who really need a high-end system for productivity. The included DIMMs are 32 gigabytes each, and they're the really nice Samsung brand. Our next step in disassembly is to take the cooling array off and remove all of the smaller pieces, such as our wireless card. A lot of engineering went into the cooling system. This is pretty much one solid piece of copper all the way through as it comes up in one chunk. We don't have any thermal pads on here, so we have thermal paste instead, which is better than those thermal pads, and nothing extravagant like liquid metal because it's not necessary when you have good heat sinks and good fans, as we've already shown in those benchmarks from earlier. So with that, we pretty much got the system completely taken apart. This allows us to take a peek at the CPU and the GPU that we're hiding underneath the cooling solution. And with our disassembly of the system now completed, that actually brings us to the end of our review. So we hope that everybody watching enjoyed our in-depth review of the new MSI Titan GT77HX that you found it both entertaining and educational. If this happens to be a new laptop that you think you're interested in, check the video description for our product page link. There you'll find the full system specs and also the current pricing and availability. Keep in mind, while we try to cover as much as we can in our reviews, we definitely can't always cover everything. So if you have any unanswered questions, feel free to go down into the comment section down below and ask those questions so we can answer them for you and everybody else. But don't forget, if you ever need one-on-one -on -one support, you can always contact us by phone or email, and we can help you out with your personalized questions. So once again, we just want to remind everybody that this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.